so like I have a, a statement of loss and on there we're going to probably have to get a reinspect but I'm just going to add a ton of crap to the um, estimate. Um, we weren't there for the inspection. They kind of contacted us after it was done and said, hey, you know, I have some damage. They already came by. Here's my statement of loss. Right. And then we're like, there's a ton of stuff missing, right? Of course. Yeah. Anyways, um, so we're, we're adding a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, stuff like tree removal, um, there's two sheds and have to replace those. Um, stuff like dumpsters. Yeah. Do you add stuff? For, oh, we have to fix like a hundred linear feet of the fencing. That's not all going to be done at the same time. You know, the roofing might be done, then later the fence, and then maybe later, you know, the trees. Right. So, um, about adding stuff like that and what's kind of like, eh, you know, they probably won't pay for that. <sighs> Never or, think that. Never. I, and that's what I want to think. Yeah. So here's something that, um, people, and not to cut you off, I know you're kind of explaining this whole thing. No, you're good. But one thing that people, I think, sometimes get nervous about is, like, going overboard. Mm -hmm. Like, well, should I, right. am I going to make the insurance company mad if I include yes. 15 items instead of these 10 that I feel comfortable with? No. Add them right. all. Because if the insurance, think of it this way. If an adjuster feels good about rejecting at least a third of what you're asking for, if you ask for mm -hmm. only 10 things because you're like nervous about it and he rejects a third, right. you're only getting six items. But if you offer okay. 16 items or 15 items and he rejects a third, you're getting 10 items still. Okay. Right. Now there are different, not every adjuster has this mathematical formula and they're like, I feel good about rejecting like a third of my items or like, I want to say no to at least three or four things. That's obviously not the case. Right. But remember... If you don't ask, you're, it's never going to be yes. They're not going to penalize okay. you for asking and saying no. It's like when a dude at the bar asks a chick for her number, he, he should yeah. he only ask seven because he's afraid if he asks ten, then he's going to get more no's. They're not going to slap him across the face unless they've had way too much tequila. You know, yeah. like we're asking too many. So right. always ask. Just remember, as long as you have a valid reason that you can type okay. out and go, here's why, shoot it over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um so for the different sections of the statement of loss, so like for the fencing section, do I just add a dumpster to that section and then for the tree removal add a dumpster to that or or sure. what do you usually add for those things? Yeah. Okay. So to be honest, I don't think I've ever actually had a claim with tree removal.